The Shibuya Incident arc is one of the craziest arcs in Shonen. Jujutsu Kaisen was successful in making it a thrilling action throughout. The stakes were high and the situation didn't seem to relax, just continuous entertainment. But due to how crazy the Shibuya arc was, it changed people a lot. So now, we are going to take a look at each character in Jujutsu Kaisen affected by the Shibuya arc. This will be looking at how they were before the Shibuya arc and how they have ended up now that the Shibuya arc is over. Usu, my name is GX Xiao, and I would heavily appreciate if you leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the post notification bell for Banger Jujutsu Kaiser content. And now, let's dive right into the video. So, to begin, we will start with the sorcerer that are students, then proceed toward the higher level sorcerers. Let's have some fun. First up, Yuji Itadori. Yuji Itadori, before the Shibuya arc, had to fight the brothers of Choso. He killed Esso in the process and felt a strange sense of regret in doing so. He was then offered an opportunity to become graded as a sorcerer at a first grade level through the recommendation of Todo. He was in a happier period in his life, and as the higher ups were pretty much done trying to execute him, this was his chance to prove that he was worthy of being that great. In Shibuya, he went through a lot of trials and tribulations. From his fight against Choso, the taken over of Sukuna, and the death match against Mahito, he has had his fair share of pain. So post Shibuya, we see Yuji Todori that doesn't seem willing to live, he bears the responsibility of what Sukuna did and doesn't feel like he deserves to live. With the death of people he loves, he sees himself solely as a cog. Now, Itadori is entering the Cullen Games to free Gojo and save Megumi's sister, Sumiki. Next, we have Megumi, the 10 shadow user that has caught the eye of Sukuna. He has also recommended to become first grade sorcerer. He was able to get a finger of Sukuna prior, in which he performed an incomplete domain expansion. This was also an opportunity for him to get ranked up. He is on team Nanami to be assessed along with Takuma Ino. Megumi and the Shibuya went through a rough run, with casting a domain expansion to save Dagon and his friends, causing his dad Toji to pop out. He went head to head with Toji in which he was able to dodge his attack due to the shadow. Toji asked of his name and then ended up killing himself knowing that he was not a Zenin, but he was a Fujiguro. Megumi ran into trouble after being blindsided by Hirata, putting him in a near death position. He unleashes Maharaga which killed him but he was put in a suspended death. Sukuna manages to save Megumi and that is the last time he's actually seen within Shibuya. Post Shibuya arc, Megumi is aware of his sister's awakening and wants to save her from entering the Cullen Games. This Megumi then becomes a cold-blooded killer to save his sister at all costs. Now we have Nobaro Kugizaki. She had a promotion too. She has been impressive in killing the brother of Choso also with helping Yuji kill the other brother. She was recommended and had to go to Shibuya. She had Nayabuto Zenin taking charge along with Maki Zenin. Due to unpredictable situation in Shibuya, her mission actually changed. Running into Mahito, she was able to affect the clone as Yuji and Nobara were Mahito's natural enemy. This did unfortunately lead her to be intrigued by Mahito and potentially dying in within the series. Nito used her technique to actually stop the bleeding and seal the pain. Post Shibuya, her current condition is unknown whether it's dead or alive. On to Maki Zenin. Maki was recommended to become a grade 1 sorcerer. She has been cheated from the Zenin clan which is why she has been a grade 4 sorcerer all this time. It was her time to shine and improve. Maki assessor was Naibuto Zenin and that was not easy whatsoever. She encountered Dagon and the difference between her and the grade 1 sorcerers were clear. Maki with the help of Megumi, Nanami, Naibuto escaped the domain of Dagon. She then later got burned by Jogo, who was mourning the death of the friend Dagon after Toji killed him. That was Maki's experience. Post Shibuya, Maki seemed to be saved by Yuki. She planned to help Megumi with recovering his sister and participating in the Cullen game. She ended up going to the Zenin warehouse and when she saw her sister lying on the floor, she was attacked by Oji Zenin and this resulted into a Maki defeat. Mai then sacrificed her life to Maki to give her the full heavenly restriction. This led Maki to have a zero cursed energy and slaughtering the whole Zenin clan. Maki is now most likely going to participate in the Cullen game and increased her strength tremendously. Unamaki Toji was already a semi grade 1 sorcerer. Having the ability to use cursed speech, he was already proven to be strong. He was in the Shibuya arc doing crowd control. In the process, he ends up being in the vicinity of Sukuna domain expansion. With that being the radius, it was pretty much over. Unamaki actually ended up losing an arm. He was cut off. Currently out of action post Shibuya. 
Next up, we have my brother, Toto. He is my Mr. Best Ofendo. Before the Shibuya arc, he was recommending to the higher ups to upgrade the rankings of some of the Jujutsu sorcerers in the Tokyo Jujutsu High. This made them not allowed to assess them and leaving them through the assessment of themselves. Hearing about the situation in Shibuya, he came and saved Itadori. Itadori was about to be hit with a black flash but was saved. Toto helped Yuji with the fight against Mahito and achieved the black flash. But he had cut off his arm due to being touched by Mahito, making it the death of the Boogie Wiggy. Ah! Yuji Tudori was able to finish with the help of final Boogie Wiggy. Post Shibuya, Todo has no arm and his current situation is unknown. So, for this, I'm going to simplify the situation of the Kyoto group. During Shibuya, they were told by Mekamaru they were weak, pretty much. And that actually came towards the end of Shibuya. This led to them having to fight Kenjaku, which ended up being futile. Momo, Miwa, Kamo, Mai was pretty much useless against him, but they gave it a go. Some were advised to leave, but others stayed because they had no choice. Post Shibuya, their situation is unknown, but killing the curses in Tokyo and Miwa being in the Sendai colony could be inferred they are entered the Kalen games. Next and foremost, we have Satoru Gojo. Satoru Gojo prior to this went to meet up with Yuta in Africa. Due to having a bad feeling, something might happen to him. That was his business trip. Coming back to Tokyo, he was going to go to Shibuya Station and sees many people saying his name. Again and again, he heard Satoru Gojo, as it was an instruction given by the Cursed Spirits. In Shibuya, Gojo fought the Cursed Spirits. This was a plan they set up to kill people to the point Gojo felt uncomfortable. This caused Gojo to use the domain expansion in 0.2 seconds and kill around 1000 transfigured humans in 299 seconds. He was later captured into the prison realm with Bai Kenjaku, resulting in him being inactive for the rest of the Shibuya arc. Post Shibuya arc, he is still remaining in the prison realm, waiting to be freed. Nanami Nanamin before Shibuya was there to assess the students that were recommended for promotion. Ino and Megami. Land seemed to have changed causing him to save Nobara and ended up fighting Dagon. This resulted in him taking serious injuries from getting caught up by Diamond domain expansion. He then was freed after domain expansion ended due to Toji Fushiguro. The trouble didn't end there, with Jogo who was grieving Dagon burning him alive. These injuries proved severe as he was burnt to a crisp. He then ran into some transfigured humans and destroyed them all in a lethargic stance. Then sadly killed by the man Mahito himself, leaving his last words to Yuji, you got it from here. And Nanami is confirmed dead after the Shibuya. Ah! Mei Mei is next up. She was assessing Yuji to do during Shibuya. She was with Todo when they made the recommendations. She also brought along her little brother Yu Yu. Before Shibuya, she helped Todo recommend people also. Furthermore, she ended up encountering Kanjaku when she was in Shibuya, resulting to her having to run away with Yu Yu, transporting her to Africa, in where she is going to claim all the money she has by selling everything in Japan, as well as disassociate herself. Yu Yu really was a goat, saved her so many times, my word. Now we are on to Naobito Zenin. This was a member of the Zenin clan that was the head. He came along in Shibuya to assess Maki and Obara. In Shibuya, he showed us the way of his technique and bodied Dagon until he unleashed domain expansion. This resulted to an undeniable fate. Even though he had a simple domain, this was too difficult and was saved by Megami, incoming as well as Toji. This resulted into him suffering his fate against Jogo as he burnt him alive to avenge the friend of Hanami while he was already injured from Dagon. And this, guys, is where we end the video. Hope you enjoyed the before and after events of the Shibuya arc. Leave a like and comment to let me know if you want this video but for the cursed objects and the cursed spirits. Thanks for watching this video and as I say to the new and old people that come and visit my channel, Jana.